Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Techno Education Academy. In this video lecture, we will discuss about sliding mesh gearbox. First of all, what is the need of gearbox? Okay, whenever your vehicle, okay, it is on slope. Okay, at that time we need high torque and low speed. So at that time our requirement is high torque. Okay, in hilly areas as well as your vehicle, uh, it will move on slope. Yes, same as your vehicle on highways, at that time we need more speed. So in different condition, we need different leverage or we can say different need of speed and torque. Okay, this is the need of gearbox. So by using some mechanism, uh, we can shifting the gear okay, from first to second, second to third and we can achieve different speeds and torque. This is the need of gearbox in automobile. Today we will discuss simplest type of gearbox. It is a sliding mesh gearbox. Here you can see that, okay, this is the schematic diagram of the sliding mesh gearbox. Okay, here we are using two shaft, one main shaft on which uh, the gears are used. It will uh, move or slide, okay, on the uh, spline shaft as well as the less shaft. Okay, on less shaft, all the gears are fixed. So, first of all, the power comes from the engine. So, as we know that heat engine means it is a device in which chemical energy of fuel it will be converted into heat energy and this heat energy it will be converted into mechanical energy. So, engine is a one type of heat engine. So, engine will produce the power. Okay, this power uh, it is supplied to the clutch shaft. Okay, this clutch shaft it is connected with the clutch gear and this clutch gear okay it is always mess with the gears uh, on the less shaft okay and uh, these gears on the less shaft okay it is permanently mounted okay means it will not shifted okay only the shifted gears on the main shaft the gears uh, on the uh, main shaft are movable means it will slide on the surface of the spline this is a spline shaft okay so here the gears uh, it will move from uh, one place to another place by using a selector mechanism so first of all power comes from the engine to the clutch shaft uh, then uh, uh, it will transfer to the clutch gear this clutch gear it is always mesh with the gears on the less shaft okay and uh, by uh, selecting the gears on the main shaft by uh, using selector mechanism okay we can shift the gear first second third and reverse okay here you can see that this is the reverse gear okay in a reverse gear here you can see that uh, one uh, here we are using uh, one more gear okay so we can obtain the uh, reverse gear okay reverse speed gear all the gears on the less shaft are fixed to it and uh, as such uh, they are all time rotating when the engine is running and the clutch is engaged uh, three uh, direct and one reverse speeds are attained uh, on uh, suitably moving the gears on the main shaft by means of selector mechanism. These various positions of the gear uh, as shown in figure first gear, uh, second gear, top gear and reverse gear. Okay, we can obtain the different gears okay, by shifting the gears on the uh, main shaft uh, by using the selector mechanism. I hope this information it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends. Thank you friends for watching this video.